Mr. Beagley! Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly. I have another one shot for you, uh, it's Death Dice Overdose, which is a Flash game. You can probably hear in my voice that I'm still sick, and I remember back when uh, Markiplier was sick like six or seven months ago, I have no idea when it was, uh, but he was super hyped up on like cough syrup or something, and he decided to play this game. I thought it was an appropriate choice due to that fact, since I am also suffering from a similar terrible illness which cannot be shaken so maybe um eating tons of pills will help me out anyway so you're this little doopy derpy doofy guy in the corner here waiting at the bus stop you're the salary man you can tell by his tie but he is a businessman who struggles with gambling and drugs so the gods are taking bets on his life uh and they drop giant dice from the sky to try to kill you and you have to collect these pills here and you see here you see me collecting them mm, yummy pills yes make me better make me less sick oh and those uh, big spinny dice there that are falling from the sky are the death dice that the gods drop and those are super special because what they do is oh, I almost got hit by a dice um, is they turn into uh, different power-ups or, or penalties really they shoot like fire out or like explosions or tornadoes and they try to kill you basically and the goal is to collect enough pills here look at this guy flipping around he does a pretty sweet flip but look at his sad face except when he's standing still he does that silly dance again um, but uh, your goal is to collect enough pills that survive now the more pills you collect you'll see in the ah, oh god it's a twister um, you'll see in the in the bottom right corner there's that bar that's filling up as, as black and then it goes to white um, now when things are white obviously things are normal and regular well, normal as they can be regular dice fall from the sky and they try to crush you oh my god see that thing was almost gonna oh my got squished anyway what I was trying to say sorry about the jumbled commentary guys I'm, I'm on a whole bunch of cough medicine at the moment so I <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, uh, but anyway, so uh, the white dice try to crush you, which is scary and terrible, uh, but the black dice, or not the black dice, the dice with the angry faces on them, that's what happens when you collect enough pills, and your bar goes into the, the black, now the goal is to try to get your bar all the way to the black, I don't know what happens, I've never been in this game before, um, if the bar goes all the way to the white and you haven't collected pills in a while, you die of shock, apparently, according to the game, so let's play more, um, obviously, he has this derpy little dance, but I like, like how he runs, he puts a little, uh, uh, scared face and then his like arms are like trailing behind him <laughs> it's awesome it's funny oh Jesus yeah I was not ready for that one so the death dice those will have random uh, things that attack you that one was like a spiky craziness obviously the more pills you take the more you OD and the trippier shit gets in the background it looks like adventure time except even more disturbing oh god there's two death dice so one is a shooty thing and one is giving me tons of pills oh yeah oh man we are almost all the way into the black let's win Wait, what happens? Oh, you can't? You can't win. This is a game. This is an allegory for life. You can never win. It's just a crushing defeat every time. Crushing disappointment. <laughs> um, anyway, so... Um, you, uh, you just... I guess you just survive for as long as you can. Once again, another allegory for your life. You just survive for as long as you can. You do the same tedious tasks over and over till you die. And then nothing happens. Nothing happens, there's no grand reward at the end. Okay, this is getting depressing. Oh my god, look at how many death dice there are. Good thing I have acrobatic skills. Holy shit, I got exploded. I have acrobatic skills that allow me to freaking flip, like Liu Kang flip over everything. Blah, 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 blah. So let's try to beat our, our previous high score. I don't know what it was, it was like 2,000 or something. It's over 2,000. Okay, I'm I only, I only, blah, 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 blah. I'm only making terrible meme references because I'm exhausted and I'm really really very not in my own head uh, what are, what is that one is that a meteor oh my god it's the freaking blue shell from mario kart or something i don't know um anyway we'll keep going i love that when you start tripping out there's like happy clouds and then there's also but this sign that bus stop sign there in the middle just goes crazy it just turns into like a kanye west music video it's all like it's going ham that was the reference I was trying to make. This is a terrible reference. It's awful pop culture reference. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Oh, God. I always hated the three dice. It's the worst side of the dice. Okay. There's tips on the bottom, I just realized, when you die. I don't know what they're, they're, <laughs> if they're any good for me. Look at it. Oh, I just know there's a tree in the background here. It also dances. So next time I get up, I need pills. Please give me pills. I need the pills. Oh, the pills are good. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll parkour over the freaking 
uh, tornado, because that's what we do. Oh my, lots of crazy death dice falling from the sky. Uh, and like I said, this is just a random one shot. Obviously, the gameplay does not progress much beyond the... Oh, I got stabbed. It does not progress much beyond what you're seeing here on the screen. Uh, things happen, though. Which is tripping out. Yeah, rave party craziness. Look at that happy tree. Let's dance with him. <laughs> it's fantastic. Okay, so look out for the spiky spike ball of doom spikes. Oh, wow, I like that. It has real life physics. It gets, it gets lower. <laughs> so that's ter terribly depressing that there's no uh, actual victory. Oh my god, that one hit me in the face area. All right. Okay, 10 points per dice, 15 points per dice in overdose mode, and 50 points for death dice. Okay, so if I survive death dice, I get a lot of points, so actually the more of those that fall, the better. The pills don't actually give me any points, but they will put, they'll put they hook me up with OD mode, which I'm in at the moment. What? That barely touched my foot. God, this guy's never going to get to work on time. Never, ever, ever, ever getting back together. Um... Anyway, so uh, I hope that you guys have been <laughs> enjoying the Gerbigo and Friends episodes that I have been able to put up. I'm so sorry, once again, that I haven't really been putting up anything besides those. I, As you can hear from my voice, it's really hard to record. Uh, today's honestly like the first day that I've been able to uh, record anything without like packing up a lung uh, due to the fact that like my voice ended up like dying. Just uh, completely just my throat being shredded. Uh, so... Thank you guys for being patient. Thank you for supporting me in the meantime. Uh, you guys are the best ever. I really mean that. I love you guys. Holy shit, look at all these dice that are falling. Well, let's dance with the sign and get the pills of yumminess. Man, now we're doing actually pretty good. Now that I've said that we're going to die because that's how these games always work with me. Come on, dude. Turn into pills. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, budge butts. Come on. Hey, that was like the highest score we've ever gotten. Honestly, I think I'm probably going to end it there because, like I said, the game does not progress beyond that. Um, when the death dice have stopped bouncing, it is okay to touch them. Sorry, I had to read that tip at the bottom of the screen. My brain is all screwy, and it's like, look it, there's words, read them, blah, blah, blah. So I did that. Um, but anyway, I hope that you guys, oh, I almost choked. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. I swear that I will be getting better soon. I promise, promise, promise. Uh, and uh, th then I will bring more new content that's not, sorry, there's something on my desk. I had to look at it. It's like the top of like a rolly sticky thing. We use them on the couch because the cats, you guys don't care, whatever. Um, anyway, so, uh, like I was saying, guys, um, if you haven't subscribed to me, uh, please feel free to do so. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, it's always great to see more subscribers coming in, get to know more of you guys. I swear I'm normally not like this. I'm just really hopped up on cold medicine, and I am getting better, and there will be more solo Let's Plays of my ongoing series, and I might even introduce some new ones. We'll see here. Um, but in the meantime, uh, you'll get some one-shots like this. You'll get some Gerbigli and friends. Also, guys, super quick update. I now have Gerbigli shirts in the Spreadshirt store. If you guys said, did not catch any of my social media updates about it, uh, those are up now. Um, currently, due to some graphical errors, I'm only able to put them in as white t-shirts. You guys can select other colors, but they're going to have like a white border around the logo. Um, I'm sorry for that. I will get that fixed soon so that you guys can get whatever color you want for the Gerbigli t-shirts. All proceeds for those go directly to charity. As I've said before, I've rambled long enough. I'm super sorry for that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for everything. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye. Just have a video clip of you watching it during this video. <laughs> yes, please, Bash. <laughs> Do that. But I've seen it. What are we talking about? <laughs> Only it's 49 times, though. Yeah, the 50th time is where it really gets you. Oh. That's where you really start appreciating the production value. <laughs> <laughs> In Meat Spin. It all makes sense.